This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by ring legend Bernard Hopkins here in Anaheim. Bernard, firstly, how are you? I'm fine, good, good, good. It's good to hear. Now, obviously, we're here ahead of Jaime Munguia and Gabriel Rosado on Saturday night. Straight into it, Bernard. What are your thoughts on the fight? Um, it's definitely going to be a crowd-pleasing fight, I think. Um, people are going to be excited um, to see a fight. <laughs> fight of this magnitude where two guys want to win. We've seen with Gabriel Zayda who's had some good performances of recent and Jaime Munguia has aspirations to challenge for a world title at middleweight. What type of performance do you expect from either guy? Who do you see there being more pressure on? Yeah, I, I think both guys um, have have a great, great, great uh, um, defense and offense to make both fights fighters actually um, be at a war uh, with each other. I, I, I just think that the, the, the advantage that each guy has is who won it the most. Because I see styles similar to the same. Both guys know how to take a punch. Both guys know how to respond back to, to adversity. So I, I see this being a really, really uh, a Tori Gaddy and Mickey Ward. Who do you lean towards? The best person that wins. <laughs> they both were Golden Boy. To me, I just wanted to make sure that uh, this fight turned out to be one of the best fights in the year, and it's been a lot of fights a year, to set the tone for Golden Boy and what's to come in 2022. It will be a fantastic and also a eye-opener, exciting slugfest. For whoever is victorious, do you see them des being deserving of a world title opportunity next? Correct. Absolutely. I think um, any of those three, four champions out there, there's going to be sleeping low, a little unsettled that night, no matter who wins the fight. But it will be a fight that people will talk about the next thing, and that will be a championship. I just one of the fight on the card and get your thoughts on is Alexis Rocha and Bereza. What do you make of their fight? Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair enough, Bernard. Um, whilst I've got you, I want to get your thoughts on a couple of the boxing topics. Obviously, last weekend, Canelo overcame Caleb Plant to become undisputed champion of 168. What were your thoughts? What did you make of their bout? Uh, Canelo's in, he's in a lot of houses, but he just got into the undisputed house of champions over the years. Um, it's a great accomplishment, he earned it. Um, he, he figured it out, which is plant, and then he executed. Um, getting better, even at this stage of his career, um, is unstoppable right now. You've just said he's unstoppable. People kind of want to see him go up to 175 and believe maybe an Arta Baturbiev is the type of man who could beat him because Canelo jumping up once again. Do you think that's the only way Canelo loses by just going up one too many weights? No, I think, I think he knows his limit. He knows what weight he's comfortable at. Only person who can beat Canelo right now is Canelo. Other than that, um, he can do what he want to do. He got a, he, got, he can write his own ticket. Bernard, I have to ask you, if you and Canelo had ever crossed paths, say if you was both in your prime, how would you have handled him? How do you think the fight would have played out between the pair of you? It had been a hard one, but it, it went either who had the best game plan that night. If it was me, I win. If it was him, he win. But it, won't, it wouldn't be an easy fight. For me, and I wouldn't make it an easy fight for him. How would you have approached it? Cautious, prepared, ready. You gotta be ready. What are Canelo's best attributes, in your opinion, Bernard? Discipline, physical, mentally, always ready. Well, Ross, I just want to get your thoughts on, on the heavyweight division, a couple of fights which we've recently seen. Firstly, Fury Wilder 3, what did you make of it? Uh, good fights. What did you make of Tyson's victory? 
against Deontay Ward Yeah, yeah, expect it. And then Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. Um, Alexander Usyk uh, beating AJ on points. What did you make of that? Boxing is always unpredictable. Always. Bernard, just before I let you go, just a final word to everybody who's going to watch on Saturday. What should they expect? Fireworks and a long conversation come Sunday morning. Bernard, thank you. Thank you.